हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ डीप वाटर सो वी वर एट द पॉइंट दैट विलियम डगलस वाज ड्रॉन इन द वाई एम सी ए स्विमिंग पूल ही हैड ट्राइड टू टाइम्स बट ही फेल्ड एंड एट लास्ट ही रिलैक्स्ड एंड ऑल एफर्ट्स सीज्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट ही बिकेम अनकॉन्शियस नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट with this point the next i remember i was laying on my stomach beside the pool vomiting so the next point was that after drowning after becoming unconscious whatever he remembered was that he was laying on his stomach beside the pool or near the pool and he was also vomiting the chap that threw him in was the same the boy or the chap who threw him inside the swimming pool he was saying but i was only fooling he was making such a comment that i was only making fun of it someone said the kid nearly died there was a crowd gathered there and someone among them he was saying that the kid was nearly died but be all right now but because he was saved and he will be all right in few moments let's carry him in to the locker room and he also advised that he should be taken to the locker room or the changing room where his dress could be changed several hours later i walked home and i was weak and trembling william douglas further telling the story that after few hours he walked home and as he was going he was very feeling very weak and also he was trembling i shook and cried when i lay on my bed next day he is adding that he was trembling and he was also crying he was shaking shaking as he lay on his bed he was not comfortable and he was feeling a type of pain and even his body was trembling next he is saying i couldn't eat that night that night even he couldn't eat for days a haunting fear was in my heart and the next he is saying that for some days a haunting fear haunting means a fear that comes again and again something that comes again and again that was in his heart so the fear of water that seized him in the swimming pool that actually make a space a place in his heart next he is saying the slightest exertion even a slightest a very less exertion efforts upset me making me wobbly in the knees that would upset him making him wobbly unstable in the knees so whenever he tried to do any effort any type of hard work or labor at that time his knees would give a type of unstability and he became even sick to his stomach it means there was also pain started in his stomach so whenever he tried any type of activity there was unstability in his knees it means he couldn't even stand in proper manner and also there was a pain where in his stomach next he is telling i never went back to the pool and he never went back to ymc pool there was such a phobia a fear in his heart about that pool that he never went back there and he is also adding i avoided it whenever i could it means whenever he could go there he tried to avoid it that he should not go even near the ymc pool so there was such a haunting fear in his heart a few years later when i came to know the waters of the cascades so a few years later what happened when he came to know about the waters of cascades i wanted to get 
into this. So when he came to know about the water of lakes like cascades, he wanted to go there. Waterfalls, Jarna. And whenever I did, whether I was wedding the titan or bumping river. So whenever he tried to go there, either it was a titan, either it was bumping river or bathing in warm lake of the goat rocks. Different places has been mentioned, have been mentioned where he tried to go into water. Because now he was growing at that stage when misadventure happened that was only the age of 10 or 11 years. But as he was now growing, other peer group, other friends of William Douglas, they were also swimming, they were also enjoying the water activities. So he also tried to do and whether he was uh, moving to the Titan or bumping river or bathing in warm lake. So wherever he has gone to the different places, the terror that had seized me in the pool would come back. And that terror that had seized or caught him in the pool would come back. So the particular fear that was seized that seized him in the swimming YMCA pool that was coming again and again. It would take position of me completely, and it seemed that it had taken a position on him completely. He was over possessed by the fear of water. So whenever he tried that water always fall to him. My legs would become paralyzed and whenever he tried his legs always would paralyze. In the same way they were paralyzed where in the YMC pool when he was going into the water. A type of icy water would grab my heart and he is telling as one goes in the ice and there is snow is falling everywhere and he is in the ice that is making you chill. Such type of horror would grab or catch his heart. So he was feeling very much frightened whenever he tried to go into water. Next this handicap stayed with me as the years old by and it was not for some time few months but as the years were rolled by, as the time was passing, as he was growing year by year, that handicap or that fear of water here, this handicap is fear of water or hydrophobia that was with him as the years rolled by. And next he is in, in canoes on main legs fishing for once again he is describing some places where he had visited. Canoes are the small boats in which normally fishing is done. So whenever he go for fishing in different type of lakes, he is telling about the landlocked cell and a uh, name of fish. So different type of fish he had uh, gone for different type of fishing. Next he is telling bass fishing in New Hampshire, trout fishing, they are also the names of uh, fish, bass, trout and name of place that is New Hampshire. Next he is telling deaths and metolis in origin, fishing for salmon once again repeated and where it was on the Columbia at Bumping Lake and the Cascades. So wherever he had gone to waterfall, lakes, etc. Whenever he went, wherever he went, the hunting fear, the fear that was coming again and again of water that followed him everywhere. Wherever he go, there the fear of water followed him. And he was much frightened by this fear of water. His life was totally exploited fear of water and his next day uh, telling that it ruined or exploited my fishing trips it deployed me or him of the joy of canoeing boating and swimming so he was not able to do any fishing any boating or swimming so
so he was totally deprived of all these things he was not able to do all these things so what he did he is telling i used the way i knew to overcome this fear he had it doesn't mean that he had not tried anything he had tried every way he knew it he is telling i used every way i knew to overcome this fear but it held me or it caught me firmly in its grip as some once grip is so strong that you can't free from that grip in the same way the grip of fear or hydrophobia had firmly held him in its grip finally at last when he was totally set and he was thinking that he should do something finally one october he decided i decided to get an instructor he thought a coach or instructor should be hired and that's why he hired an instructor and learned to swim so how did the instructor taught him that has been given he is saying that i went to a pool with that instructor that he went to pool and practiced for 5 days a week and there he practiced 5 days a week 5 days a week an hour each day and also on every occasion they were doing practice for an hour a day the instructor put a belt around me and what did instructor do at that time he put a belt around him also a rope attached to the belt and a rope was attached to that belt suppose william douglas was there he wants to learn so a belt was around his belly or stomach and with that a rope was attached and that went through a pulley and actually that was attached to a pulley that ran on an overhead cable and at his head at a very you can say high place there was a pulley was arranged with the help of something uh, rope or anything else uh, or had a cable so on cable there was a pulley arranged and on the pulley there was a rope was attached so what really was the purpose that he had he held on to the end of the rope at one end the instructor was having the rope and at another end that was attached to the belt of william douglas and we went back and forth back and forth means front so they were going back and forth it means while instructor was making a looseness in the rope he was going into the water and when he has a tightness then douglas was out of water so that was the pattern he wanted to teach him he wanted him to stay in water or after back and forth across the pool all over across the pool they were going back and forth or after it means day after day because each day they were learning uh, he was learning for hour and day after day five day week week after week so slowly slowly he was learning and he is telling on each trip across the pool a bit of the panic system that whenever he had gone there a bit a piece of a panic or the fear that seized or that caught him so whenever he uh, went there there was always some type of fear that was holding him each time the instructor relaxed whenever instructor try to relax or give relax him by uh, loosening the rope he is hold on the rope and i went under whenever he went under some of the old terror returned and my legs froze so some of the old terror always returned and his legs froze or paralyzed they didn't work as it was happened already that was also happening at that time and william douglas is adding that it was 3 months before the tension began to slack slack means to become less so it took actually 3 months or for 3 months he was only trying there into the water moving 
just giving relax to the rope and once tightening the rope rope so it took actually 3 months when actually the tension began to slack or become less you can imagine that a long period of 3 months some person even don't try even for month but he had to try it for 3 months and for 3 month the results were zero and after that he had got some results so anyhow then he taught me then he taught me to put my face then he taught me to put my face under water and exhale exhale means to breathe in to take air in to take oxygen in and to raise my nose and sorry that is inhale is air in and exhale means to breathe out or breathe out saans ko bahar chhodna inhale means to take breath in or saans ko andar lena so after that he taught him that how to put your face under water and exhale पानी के नीचे मुंह कैसे लेके जाना है और ब्रीद आउट कैसे करना है सांस बाहर तक कैसे निकालना है एंड टू रेज माई नोज एंड इन हेल एंड हाउ टू गो आउटसाइड द वाटर टू रेज योर नोज आउटसाइड एंड इन हेल और टू ब्रीद इन सो दैट वाज द पॉइंट ही हैड टॉट आफ्टर दैट एंड हिज टेलिंग आई रिपीटेड द एक्सरसाइज हंड्रेड ऑफ द टाइम्स सो ही हैड एक्सरसाइज फॉर दैट बिट बाई बिट नेक्स्ट इज टेलिंग That bit by bit means piece by piece. Thoda thoda karke. I said a part part of the panic. He said. He said the part of a panic. That seized him. That seized me when my head went under water. So he said, or parted away all the part of the fear he was having there. Next he held me at the side of. the pull and head me kick with my legs next what he had done that he taught me that how to move your legs at the side of pull he hold him and also taught him that how to move your legs and hands for weeks i did just that and for some weeks he only did how to move his legs at first my legs refused to work and he is adding that at first when he started to teach that his legs refused to work but they gradually relaxed but gradually or slowly they relaxed and finally i could command them and finally he could command over them that how to move your legs thus piece by piece bit by bit he built a swimmer he built a swimmer out of douglas and when he had perfected each piece it means when he had perfected is piece related to moving of legs moving of hands that is inhale out hell and other works they were related to swimming he put them together into an integrated whole after that he said that you have to work all these different points in a together way in integrated whole ek sath sara aapko karke dikhana hai and in april he said at last in april he had started in october in april in about 6 months after 6 months he told to him that now you can swim it means he had taught to him everything about swimming and he said that dive off and swim the length of pool tall stock and he also instructed him that you have to dive off or you have to jump and swim the length of whole length of the pool and you have to also make a crawl stock it means he had also taught him different type of stocks in swimming as uh, for example in cricket there are uh, different type of uh, shots like uh, straight drive hook shot pull shot in the same way in swimming also there are so many stocks crawl stock and other stocks we will discuss in the next part so he told him that you have to swim the whole length of the pool and you have to do also crawl stop and douglas did it he is saying i did the instructor was finished and that was the completion of instructor's work instructor
had finished his work because he had taught him everything but i was not finished but william douglas thought that he had not finished why he thought that there was some doubt what he thought he was he thought that i still wondered if i would be terror stricken when i was alone in the pool he was having a doubt that when he would be alone he would be terror stricken uh, the fear would return that was the problem and at the first opportunity he tried it i swam the length up and down and he swam the up and down length of the pool alone tiny vestiges or tiny parts of vestiges or remaining parts you can say of the old terror would return so the tiny parts of old terror they returned at that time he experienced that some terror is left but now i could frown and say but now he could frown an expression of anger he could ask to the terror to that terror trying to scare me you are trying to treat me you are making me terror so how can you well here is to you and he said to him he said to terror in himself that you are just trying to scare me aap mere ko dra rahe look and off i would go for another length of the pool and with that he had gone for the another length of the pool it means he tried for one more length it means that there was no fear again this went on to until july so till july he had done it till july he was just making up and down of the swimming but i was still not satisfied but even then he was not satisfied i was not sure that all the terror had left and he was thinking he was not sure about that all the terror has gone even then he was he had a doubt so i went to lake wentworth and that's why he went to the a lake that is lake wentworth and that was in new hampshire dived off a dock and he dived from a dock dock is a uh, part of port from where the ships go so he just dive or jump from a dock at trigger island that was the place and swim at 2 miles across the lake and he swim for 2 miles he swam for 2 miles that's very important sometimes question comes that how did he finally overcome his fear of water so firstly he went to lake wentworth in hampshire jumped from dock from a dock that is trigger island and after that what he did tricks actually tricks island and swam 2 miles across the lake to stampet island and he is telling i swam there for 2 miles and he had also used different strokes that is crawl breast stroke side stroke and also back stroke it means the instructor had taught him so many strokes only once did the terror return and he is telling that only once they are also terror returns the old terror when i was in the middle of the lake and it happened when he was in the middle of the lake i put my face under and saw nothing but bottomless sea bottomless water so when he was in the middle of the journey of 2 miles there when his face was under the water he saw only bottomless water the old sensation returned the old feeling or old terror that returned in miniature or in small amount that again in small amount i laughed but on that day once again like he had laughed or he had frowned to mr terror in the same way now also he frowned and laughed that mr terror what do you think you can do to me it means you can't do anything and it fled who fled terror fled the fear of water that fled and i swam on and he swam on he continually swimming 
yet i had residual doubts even then he had some residual doubts doubts were remaining even then parts of doubt were even then at my first opportunity i hurried west and that's why at the very first opportunity he hurried towards west went up to titon to conard meadows and he went to titon and up from titon to conard different places they have been mentioned here and after that up to the conard cricket trail to medi glacier so he had also gone to conard cricket trail and after that medi glacier and camped in the high meadow by the side of one lake and he had made a camp in a high meadow that is grassland in the side of a warm lake that's the important part warm lake like lake wentworth the next morning i stepped on the very next morning he stepped or he uh, put off his clothes dived into lake and he dived or jumped into lake and swam across to the other shore and back and he had gone to the other else or shore and also come back just as a dog corpon used to do in the same way as an example of a person uh, given by him as a dog corpon was also used to do in the same way he had also done it i shouted with joy and he also made a shout with joy and gilbert peak there was a peak that was named as gilbert peak that returned the echo and the sound or echo that came from the peak of that hill i had conquered my fear of water and he is exclaiming with joy that at last he had conquered the fear of water the experience had a deep meaning for me next he is telling that that particular experience had given a deep meaning to him as only those who have non stark terror and conquered it because only those who know about the stark or the strange terror of water and also conquer any type of a terror if anyone know and also overcome or got victory or conquered it it can appreciate only they can appreciate about that next is telling in death there is peace because in death there is peace because he had also experienced death when he was drowning he became unconscious and he was feeling death so he is telling in the death there is peace there is a terror only in the fear of death and he is also telling that there is if there is fear if there is a terror that is only in the fear of death while he was drowning he had a fear even after escaping from that particular there was always fear that whenever i would go into water i can die so there is always a fear in the fear of death there is only terror in the fear of death as roosevelt knew his friend roosevelt also knew about that when he said all we have to fear is fear itself if we have to fear it means it's a fear agar hum kisi cheez se darte hain to wo dar se hi darte hain if we go near death there is totally peace it means even if we go very near to death or fear if we want to overcome that fear there will be peace as he had also overcome from the fear by hard work will determination after that there is totally peace so he was feeling both the sensations because i had experienced both the sensation of a dying because he had experienced also the sensation of a dying in the swimming pool and the terror that fear of it can produce and also the terror that fear of death can produce he had experienced both the things the will to live somehow grew in intensity but if you have a will if you have a determination to live your life that can become your intensity or the strength that can work as a strength so his strength was also to avoid the fear and with his will determination and strong desire he had overcome from uh, the fear of water and somehow it may become his intensity to live because he wanted to live his life 
in the same way if you wanted to live your life if you try if you work hard you can also be success you can also overcome from your faults or whatever the lacuna you have at last i felt released now william douglas is saying at last he felt released now he is relaxed he is also relaxed from the fear of phytophobia free to walk now he can go free anywhere he can walk before that even the slightest efforts or exertions he felt always there was wobbling in his knees but now he is free to walk the trails to climb the peaks and brush aside fear now he had brush aside of the fear that is fear of water so how a person can overcome his fear of water that has been or even water any type of fear can be overcome by will determination that has been described here we will continue with the question answer in the next part of the lesson